Hello guys and welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Peter will be presented by King Makers to confuse the youth. He is fake. Omoyele <laughs> Oshowari. Well, I begin to feel that uh, Peter Obi has become a very big threat to these people. Come to think of it, Peter Obi is not the only candidate, only presidential candidate we have in Nigeria as present now. We have the APC, who is Bola Tinubu. We have Atiku Abubaka from PDP. We have uh, Juan Kwaso from NNPP. It's really very surprising that everybody are talking about Peter Obi, Peter Obi. Now, like this, it takes no light when they come. You understand? Oh, my Lord, she ain't saying they come out for president. You people should leave Peter Obi alone. Nigerians are saying he's stinging good. They like him like that. You know, they give shishi. That's what they talk. He does, a, a party does not have structure. No problem. No problem. He's a scam. No problem. Market yourself. Anyway, guys, let me not just talk too much. Let's quickly get straight to the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. God bless you. Peter Obi presented by Kingmakers to confuse the youth. He is fake. He is a busy generated by Kingmakers so that youth will not have a chance to choose the right person again. Peter Obi is a product of PDP. He is deputy, a product of PDP. PDP maintained and sustained darkness with $16 billion in 16 years. They have managed to operate under two political parties. They have presented two teams. If PDP loses, they will hope that Labour Party does not lose so they can maintain their hold on the jocular of this nation. The AAC presidential flag bearer also made a commitment to prove past administrations, noting that if loot could be retrieved from the late head of state, Sani Abacha, then living former leaders should be proved too. If proving is compulsory, these are people who have taken money from the public. We must ask them what they stole and how we can get it back. We, we had a man who was in power between 1993 and 1998, Sani Abacha. We are still getting money from him. So why can't we get money from them if we are getting money from the dead, he said. It is now clear that you never had good intentions for Nigeria. You were paid to promote and say the disaster we have in Nigeria, and you did. Now, instead of closing remarks to uproot the satanic menace, they have hired you again to work against the people. Shawari, what do you want? Make una ask come. I don't know your ambition in life, but you are confused as this present administration next time the dss will blow your head he said wow that's funny anyway i am sure you are regretting your actions against good luck jonathan if you had any conscience left in you you will be quiet somewhere reflecting and asking god to forgive to forgive you for supporting buhari in 2015 or nigerians waiting waiting you get for them and stop discussing and attacking more formidable Labour Party competent, obedient, and highly focused and determined Nigerian youth movement. All this, your Kobo Kobo blackmail and malicious propaganda, not going to work for you this time. You left your own presidential ambition to speak negative about another presidential aspirant. You are indeed a failure. Shawari, the youth. And any right-thinking human being is currently disappointed in you. These are reactions by Nigerians, and they keep on talking. As you can see, Nigerians are not happy with 
Omoyelo Showare right now because they feel that Oshoware is just trying to attack Peter Obi, maybe because of, you know, the people he's, the Nigerian youth is gathering right now. Like what I always say, no matter how people try to demarket the Labour Party presidential candidate, it's going to be very difficult because the movement itself is even bigger than Peter Obi right now. This is what they call revolution. Nigerians are out this time around. If you are a Nigerian, you are living in this country, you, you should be, you, you, sh you should be conversant with what I'm trying to say here. We don't sleep with one, with two eyes closed. No, not in this country. People find it difficult to eat three square meals. Poverty has landed in Nigeria. What exactly is our sin? We are one of those, ah, not be now again, I don't say. Nigeria used to be giant of Africa. So what happened? We have bad leaders who have loot us dried and they don't care if they even pick the remaining one. In a country when one person can loot eight, 80 billion naira and nothing, nothing happens. That is how it will just go. You understand? Nigerians are saying they are tired of these people. So this guy should just please lay to rest. He should forget about attacking uh, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, the former Anambra state governor. Mr. Peter Obi is stainless right now. So they have tried so many things to look for how to indict him. No way. You understand? So this is how they say integrity, it pays. You understand? It's not going to be business as usual. Nigerians wants to take their country back to them. So not even Oshawari can, dis can discourage anybody at this time. No way. May then tell Oshawari, make him talk waiting he go feed do for Nigerians. Same thing they come out for presidency. Leave people alone. Anyway, guys, let me drop it here. <laughs> Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this having you here. Bye for now.